This is why I continue to say you cannot discredit Ravens fans because they know exactly what they're talking about. It came out that Andy Isabella, shout out to Encanto too because it reminded me of uh, the, the sister Isabella. But anyway, Ravens fans, when Andy Isabella got cut from the Cardinals, they were the first to say, oh, I saw so many Ravens fans say, this is such a Ravens move. Watch Ravens end up signing him. Oh, you know the Ravens going to pick him up. And they did. They did. The Ravens are signing wide receiver, former second round pick, Andy Isabella. And there were a lot of rumors right after the preseason. After that Cardinals preseason game, there were some rumors because Ravens got the chance to see Andy Isabella up close and personal. And especially him battling back and forth uh, with Brandon Stevens. Brandon Stevens won some reps, but he certainly won some reps too. And I love that back and forth. But then there were rumors that started circulating. Oh, the Ravens are interested in Andy Isabella. And I was like, huh? Um, And I guess maybe those rumors were true. Because now the Ravens, all they had to do was sit back and be like, okay, okay. we'll wait it out. We'll wait it out. We know his first couple years, it ain't been so good. But we'll just wait it out. We just got to be patient. As a matter of fact, we gave them Hollywood Brown. Well, not really a give because the Cardinals gave the Ravens a first round pick for Hollywood. But they, they had to be thinking like, okay, we'll just wait it out. Because we just added another receiver to their receiving group. They're going to get DeAndre Hopkins back soon too. Um, they got Randall, Rand, Rondell Moore. They got A.J. Green and whatnot. So their receiver room was a little crowded. So Andy Isabella, he's playing a lot in the preseason. So hmm, that lets us know something about him. Maybe he's not so high on the Cardinals depth chart. And it all worked out for the Ravens um, because they end up getting, I guess, their guy, so to speak. Um, but where will he fit in? What will he do for these Baltimore Ravens? And why did they sign him? Well, hopefully we can answer a couple of those questions in this video. And I appreciate y'all watching. Make sure you subscribe to this YouTube channel. Um, if you like daily videos, videos literally every single day, whether it be about the Ravens, 99% of the time it's about the Ravens, but we dive into other teams as well. Um, and if it's not for you, that's cool as well. I still appreciate you having taken any time out of your day to have watched even just one single video, even if it's a second of one single video. I appreciate you. So Andy Isabella, um, now, with this move, this is a very uh, low-risk move because initially when I saw that the Ravens were signing Andy Isabella, I'm like, oh, okay, okay, so he getting a roster spot? All right, cool, but then I saw, no, 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 they're signing him to the practice squad. So I'm like, oh, okay, okay, I, I, I like that uh, because it, uh, it, 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 it mitigates the risk. It, it limits the risk that's involved. I, I mean, you sign somebody to the practice squad, it's really not much risk at all. Uh, there's a little bit, of course, but I mean, you can activate them for a game. Uh, you can activate them for two games. And if it works, great. If it doesn't work, okay, then you would just remove them from the practice squad. Uh, you have options. Um, so it's not like they're signing him to some big, huge contract. It's not like they are like, oh, allocating all this uh, cap room, salary cap space to Andy Isabella. No, this is a low risk type of move. Super low risk. Um. I'm not sure what happened with him in Arizona. I mean, maybe with what we were talking about before with the, their plethora of receivers and them, again, adding Hollywood Brown to the mix this offseason, uh, it just continued to have Andy Isabella fall uh, out of favor. Um, his career so far, uh, it has been, um, it's been underwhelming uh, because you look at his career numbers. Uh, he came out in, what, 2019? So 2019, yeah. Um, and his career numbers. So it's 2019, 2020, 2021. And this season, a little tiny bit, but it still counts towards it. Uh, 39 games, 33 catches for 447 yards and three touchdowns. So he just never got it going. Ne never got it going uh, with the Cardinals. And it's tough. Because you get drafted to a team, and especially in the second round, that's that's pretty high. Uh, you get drafted to a team, and, and you go in there thinking like, all right, we're gonna make this thing happen. They drafted me this high. Hey, this this thing has got to work. Uh, but that just 
gives you a nice reminder with the uh, the the draft. You just never know. You never know how things are going to go. You never know how things are going to work themselves out. You just really never know. Um, but Ravens with Andy Isabella, what can he provide to this team? Well, uh, he does provide that element of speed, like that that real speed. Um, because he, I think he ran like a four two four three. I think a four three. Um, but he's fast, and and he he got like the the forty time speed, but he also got the uh, the football speed to the game speed because there is a big difference. Because we've seen some people, oh man, this dude he run a four three or four four. Oh, oh, let's go! But then you see him on the football field, it's like, hold up. Where, where, where that where, where, where that speed go? It, it, it ain't correlating. Um, but with Andy Isabella, it, it, it certainly does. Now my guy Edgar, who's a uh, Cardinals fan, um, he let me know as soon as uh, he heard about the signing. He said, "Ah, I see your Ravens. They got Andy Isabella. Cool, cool." Um, he talked about reminding me of that speed and whatnot. Uh, but he said sometimes he'll uh, he'll struggle catching the ball. So I was like, okay, okay. Well, welcome to the Ravens, buddy. He'll fit right in. But no, I just really hope that um that doesn't end up being the case, uh, because Ravens they they can't afford that. They 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 cannot afford if if it is true. I'm not, I don't know if it is or it's not. But if it is true, Ravens simply cannot afford that because um the wide receivers for the Baltimore Ravens. Uh, it, they're still the passing game is has been going a lot better. Well, at least in the first half, in the first like two and a half quarters. Then in the late third quarter, fourth quarter, the, the offense just they fall asleep. But anyway, that's a whole other conversation. But the passing game overall, it has been a lot better. But the opportunities to the wide receivers have still been limited, and it still continues to be one of those things. Where it's like, all right, uh, everything gets highlighted that much more. And what I mean when I say that, since the opportunities to the wide receivers have still been limited, it's like, hey, what you do, it counts 50 times more than on a, I guess, a more normal offense or whatnot. Like, if you make a big play, if you make a catch, hey, amazing, let's go. But if you have a drop, it hurts more than it would normally hurt in other offenses because, again, the, 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 pass, the passes to the receivers have been limited. So now, again, a lot of times when they do catch it, they make the most of it. But, yeah, anyway, so with Isabella, um, he's, he's going to have to catch the ball. That's it. Going to have to, gonna have to catch the ball. He has the athletic ability again, got the speed, got some nice agility too. Uh, when he does get an opportunity, he could be a yak guy. Um, but it's a matter of getting him the opportunity. Uh I wonder if he had any other options. I wonder if he had any other options. Uh be and the reason I say that is because for him to choose the Baltimore Ravens practice squad. For him to choose them, that that's a that's a long road to to that's a that's a, a, a tall ladder to climb. Um, because with the Ravens, the Ravens receivers on the active roster, like it's only like two of them that get used: that Rashad Bateman and Devin Duvernay, and then you got two more sitting there too. You got a James Prochet who's been there. You got a Tylen. Oh, you got Demarcus Robinson too. He be getting used a little bit too. Um, early on in the season, he was more, but uh, for the past couple of games, it's been pretty quiet. Um, but so you, you, the top two receivers they get used. The third one, Demarcus Robinson, uh, so so. But James Prochet, not at all. Tylen Wallace, not at all. Uh, Tylen Wallace has had one catch go his way this year. Uh, James Prochet has had none, um, and he just really hasn't had much playing time either. Both of the two. Um, so for you to be willing to go to the Ravens on the Ravens practice squad, that's why I wonder if he had any other opportunities because one would have to think and one would have to look at the Ravens like, huh, mm, am I really going to get a shot there? Am I really going to get an opportunity there? And who knows what they may have told him, uh, with the signing when they, uh, all, when they reached out to him and his people, uh, to offer him, uh, this deal. 
So, or he could also be looking at it like, all right, well, uh, Rashad Bateman, he could end up being out for who knows how long. Um, so when one receiver is out, everybody else on the depth chart, they get moved up that much more. But the Ravens also, they signed Riley Webb uh, to the practice squad, another wide receiver. So we'll see. We'll see. Um, with him signing, uh, I, I don't know. I wouldn't, I wouldn't expect anything this week. Uh, earliest I would expect anything would really be next week. I mean, anything's possible, but it's so late. Uh, it's Thursday. Um, the signing should become official uh, between today and tomorrow. Um, but I, I wouldn't expect him to suit up this week for the Ravens. I, I think it's just it's too early. Um, yeah, it's too early. Like, if he was going to be like a punt return, a kick return, so, okay, I could see that. But as far as a receiver... No, I think the ear the earliest will be next week uh, against the Giants. So, anyway, we'll see how it goes. Hoping for the best. Hope that this can be a uh, a revival, a sort of resurrection for his career. Um, since like we saw the numbers, it's it's been underwhelming so far. Um, but hopefully things can turn around. So, team, keep it clean. I love y'all. I appreciate y'all. Shout out to Andy Isabella. Um, and hopefully he can catch on. With the Ravens. Get ahead of throw a little dad joke in there. Alright, we out.